Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. It kind of looks like they're in the process of redecorating here. It's got paint, paintbrush. <gasps> Canadian flag! Is that the CN Tower? I've been in Toronto. I am showing off my knowledge. May as well open all the windows. Or not the windows, the curtains. Same thing, really. Yeah, so they're redecorating here then. May as well turn the light on. Let people know we're at least open here. Can't read any of that. Is there anything in the drawers we can look at? A notebook. Page 56. Uh, tweak for right length. Improvised reverse projector technique? Or improved reverse projector technique. I made it too bright, I can barely read it. It's too bright in here now. Um, next drawer. Try on error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing transformative quality. A plasticity. Plasticity. A plastic. A plasticity. A plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague, David Munshi, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. And we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. But Munchie and Berger are not looking for a miraculous panacea. I admit I have not had to say this word out loud before. Uh, it's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Well, that's what that notepad said at one point as well. It is not a long forecast. It's about milliseconds, but with the right computer model, Berg and Munchie can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We are able to fail treating you a million times over only to find the right way. And when they do find that optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from Pace Laboratories, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We are very fortunate to get all this support, says Berg. Now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work. A USB drive that I can't pick up. Um, I assume we can't use it, maybe? I don't know. Other bits and bobs. This is a box. I'm still crouching. I should probably stand up at some point. Right. Uh, so this is Paul Berg's email. From David Munchie. Subject scan now. Date the 2nd of May 2015. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. So David Munchie is in this building somewhere then. Uh, from David Munchie, get your stuff ready. This is dated the 27th of April. Hi Paul, talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use our computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. David. And we also sent an email on the 30th of April. Uh, we're locked out. So again, to David Minshew. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pacey's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. 
Uh, so there will be a note somewhere with a code. Nobody told us about the code change for the lab. Alright. I wonder if it will be in this reception area somewhere then. I'm wondering if I can use the... That'd be nice. I doubt it. But it would be nice. I suppose the computer's not plugged on. But the laptop is. Plugged on? Plug... Switched on. That's the word. Well, these lamps don't work. Let me look at that notepad again. Uh... 2501? I think that's 2501. But then I also think below that it says penis can and I doubt that's what it says. So we'll go for 2501. I keep repeating it in the hopes I'll remember it. <laughs> Ooh, can we have some water? I mean, we don't have a cop, so... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I just want to see if it'll put the water in the cup. No, this way. I'm trying to do my due, gel due diligence with this game. I have no idea why I can't say that phrase. Right. Um. No, ro rotate. No. Now we know. Awesome. 2501 it was. Uh, we can run. But why would we want to? We're just in a hospital. What could go wrong? We're not exactly a hospital, but an office lab type area. I can't read shit here. and can't get in there. Well, I guess we don't need the fire hose either. Or the first aid kit. Who are also an awesome band, if I may say. wonder if it might be my graphic settings, which is why I can't really read that, but it'd be nice if we had the option to, uh left click and have it tell us what it says. <clears throat> um, let me just go back there. Anything interesting in the bookshelf? Nope, doesn't look like it. Time is it? Clock's stuck. Well, I guess we can't rely on that clock. <clears throat> so we have various brain imagery. Nothing we could specifically look at. Can't look at that paperwork. And nothing there as well. So this is just a server room, I guess. But I'm not seeing anything that we can glean information from. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. 
Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes I did. Great, well we can start whenever you're ready. Okay, uh, do you mind if I look around a little bit first? Oh, wait, can I talk to you more? Oh, okay, bye. Sorry, I don't mean to be playing around with your lamp. Let me close the door. Oh, I didn't Please, close this door. don't so wander around. There's needles and stuff lying around. I I'm sorry, I just want to shut this door. It was rude of me to leave it open. Can I turn the light off? Doesn't matter. Just have a seat and we'll be out of here in no time. Okay, but let me look around first. Mwahaha, I've hid your mouse. Um. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> oh. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. You're promising a whole lot, sir. I'm willing to give it a try. just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. It's very dark now. I can barely see anything. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out. this place? How did I get here? I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. So we're somewhere else completely. What the heck? Did I get to wear a cool outfit? Can't use none of that. Okay, I was wondering where that was in the floor. Wait, is that blood? <clears throat> With boots scattered on the floor. 
Unlock terminal from service console. Oh. Okay. Well, here's a service console. Omnitool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omnitool with fully customized tools and assistance. Got a toolbox. Insert Omnitool to access. Well, I believe we don't have one. So the fact that it's telling me to throw something, I assume throw this through the window. Or throw anything through the window, but a chair works. Uh Right. Pneumatic seal. Well, we can get back through into the tech depot now. Although I'm not sure why we would want to. Just yet, anyway. It's padlocked, so we can't get through there. First aid, in case of injury, uh, make sure you're safe, apply first aid where needed, call dispatch and report the injury and wait for the first responder to arrive. Look, I don't think I need to go through this, I think we all know how first aid works. Ooh, a room. Ooh, what is this room? Did I have a sign? Well, it's a broken mirror. Oh, it's a bathroom. Or toilet, specifically. Um, I assume I don't need the toilet. Cali Air. So we have a walker. <clears throat> Nothing interesting in it. What the hell is going on here? What the heck? I'd kind of like the noodles, please. Doesn't look like I'm getting the option to eat. What a shame. I didn't eat before coming out. I didn't shower before coming out. Frankly, I probably am needing the toilet. Trickle is now in a new scary place. And all I've had is tracing fluid. God, I'm creating a mess. Ooh, do I get coffee? Here. Here. Fine. Oh, I was planning on going out there. That would have been a clear sign that that's a bathroom. Break room. Carl, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? 